Do you think Rolex watches are just for keeping time? Think again, they're ticking treasures in the world of luxury investments. So are you curious which models might just explode in value? Then you're in the right place. We all know about a thing or two on how Rolex isn't just about stunning design and flawless craftsmanship. It's about rarity that turns these watches from cool accessories into serious asset gold mines. So if you're feeling overwhelmed by the vast sea of choices in Rolex's lineup, no worries, we've got your back. In today's video brought to you by Opulent Oasis, we're diving into the deep end of Rolex's value trends. We're talking historical spikes, rare gems, and what collectors are craving right now. Plus, we'll clear up the fog around some of the most common Rolex myths. Haven't hit that subscribe button yet? Join our community for all the latest dope and expert insights on everything Rolex. Let's jump into a really exciting topic. How does the Rolex 11908 Platinum stack up against the well-regarded Patek Calatrava? This is a topic that's buzzing right now, and we've got all the details. Fresh from this year's Watches and Wonders, the Rolex 11908 Platinum features an eye-catching ice blue dial, a standout feature of Rolex's Platinum collection. It's not just any watch. It's stunning with its textured dial and comes with both black and brown straps, perfect for making a statement. It's expected to be a major hit with a market price that might be steep. Think around $50,000 through the grey market or an authorised dealer. Could its value double or even triple right at launch? Given its charm, we wouldn't be surprised. Comparing it to the Patek Calatrava, if you're tired of waiting on long lists for Patek, the Rolex 11908 could be a breath of fresh air. It promises less hassle and potentially more value for your investment. Quick pause, folks. If you're enjoying our dive into the luxe world of watches, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us at Opulent Oasis. Stay tuned for more exclusive insights and the very best in timepiece talk. Now back to the video. Let's switch things up and tackle another interesting question. What's the best Rolex duo to grab for under $20,000, especially if you've already got the Explorer 40? We recommend taking a closer look at the Explorer 2. This 42mm beauty is available in both sleek black and eye-catching polar white. However, snagging any Rolex gems for under $20,000 these days can feel as tough as explaining TikTok to your grandparents. Another great pick would be the Wimbledon fluted Jubilee Date Just 41. Pairing it with the Explorer 2 Polar could give you a versatile and stylish collection that won't stretch your wallet too thin. Let's talk about a topic that often divides watch enthusiasts. Watch windows. Do they really pamper your prized timepieces, or are they just racking up extra wear and tear? Here's our perspective. If the idea of adjusting your watch settings every weekend sounds less than appealing, a watch window could be a great addition to your collection. It keeps your watches running on time, sparing you the nuisance of constant manual tweaking. Ideal for those who treasure their watches, not just as accessories, but as cherished possessions. Now, if your collection is large and you don't wear each watch frequently, a window might not be necessary. However, for those who wear their watches only on special occasions, a window is definitely handy. Think of it as a little helper that keeps your watches ready and accurate without the hassle. It's especially useful for watches with complex features, like a Rolex Daytona with its detailed chronograph functions. Keeping such a watch wound and set means avoiding the headache of resetting it, which can be a bit like solving a puzzle each time. Ultimately, whether a watch winder is right for you depends on your personal habits and how often you rotate your watches. If you have a favorite piece that spends more time in the drawer than on your wrist, a winder could keep it in peak condition. It's not just about keeping the watches moving. It's about maintaining them ready to wear at a moment's notice. So think about your collection, your lifestyle, and how much time you're willing to dedicate to manual adjustments. A winder might just make your life a bit easier, letting you enjoy your time instead of fussing with settings. Moving on, let's mix it up and tackle a fascinating question. If we had to choose between a Submariner date and a two-tone root beer, assuming the Submariner is the classic steel version, we'd lean towards letting go of the root beer. Here's the scoop. The Submariner is like the Swiss army knife of Rolex watches. It fits right in at a fancy gala or a laid-back Sunday brunch. While the root beer is undoubtedly eye-catching, with its more formal flair, 
when it comes to everyday wearability and versatility, the Submariner Date takes the cake. Now let's delve into a trickier topic, ranking a selection of Rolex models including the John Mayer, the Hulk, the Yellow Gold President, the Rose Gold President, and the Date Just, all rocking green dials. If we had to pick just one standout, it would be the John Mayer, made from 18 karat yellow gold and featuring a striking dark green dial. This watch isn't just a timekeeper, it's a conversation starter. Listed at just under $60,000, it's definitely not shy, but offers solid value for its unique look. The Hulk has evolved from an underdog to a top contender in popularity stakes. As for sorting the others, it's a delicate task that might stir some debate, but we'd place the Sky Dweller and the Date just a bit lower, followed by the Rose Gold Hulk, then the Yellow Gold President, with the John Mayer taking the top spot with pride. Lastly, for those of you itching to get our take on the shiny world of precious metal Rolex watches, particularly the new Golden Boy, the Daytona in gold, here's the lowdown. Think of these beauties as marathons, not sprints. They pack a real value punch, backed by Rolex's rock-solid rep for quality, making them likely candidates to hold their value as steadfastly as a stubborn mule. Rolex has been putting a lot of muscle into its precious metal releases, which are currently flying a bit under the radar, unless they boast those snazzy special dials. Take the Daytona on the Oysterflex bracelet. It's pretty much the prom queen in its category right now. With the new black and grey GMT rolling out this year, we're bracing for a frenzy akin to the mad dash for the Pepsi model. And while new colour mixes might be brewing, the old school blue and red Pepsi still steals hearts like a seasoned Casanova. Turning our gaze to the sea dwellers in gold and steel and the all gold deep sea, it seems they're not feeling the love as much, probably because of their heftier 44mm size. In a world where sleek and comfy reign supreme, these bigger models might just be overkill, like bringing a bazooka to a knife fight. Now drumroll please for the million dollar question, which Rolex model will double in value in the next decade? That's as tough to predict as the plot twists in a telenovela. The white gold Daytona Le Mans, with its limited run and eye-watering price tags, could be a contender for future appreciation, though it might need a few years to mature, like a fine wine. Other strong bets might include discontinued darlings like the Pepsi and Sprite alongside the legendary Panda Daytona. Sure, predicting the future is a bit like playing darts blindfolded, but isn't that half the fun of collecting? What did you think of the Rolex Insights we unpacked today? If any of it caught your interest like a hidden detail on a vintage dial, why not share your thoughts in the comments? If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe for more from us here at the Opulent Oasis. Thanks for tuning in. Your engagement really keeps our motors running. We're looking forward to bringing you more in our next videos, where we'll dive even deeper into the fascinating world of watches. Keep hanging with us. There's always more cool stuff to uncover.